Good morning. Happy Monday. It's November 18th. I want to start the day by reading some passages from the book of uh, the Language of Letting Go book by Melody Beatty. And um, the first one is Grief and Action. Or wait, should I actually do this one first? Let's do this one first, the victim trap, and then we'll go to grief and action. The belief that life has to be hard and difficult is the belief that makes a martyr. We can change our negative beliefs about life and whether we have the power to stop our pain and take care of ourselves. We aren't helpless. We can solve our problems. We do have power not to change or control others, but to solve the problems that are ours to solve. Using each problem that comes our way to prove that life is hard and we are helpless, this is codependency. It's the victim trap. Life does not have to be difficult. In fact, it can be smooth. Life is good. We don't have to awfulize it or ourselves. We don't have to live on the underside. We do have power, more power than we know, even in the difficult times. And the difficult times don't prove life is bad. They are part of the ups and downs of life. Often, they work out for the best. We can change our attitude. We can change ourselves. Sometimes we can change our circumstances. Life is challenging. Sometimes there's more pain than we asked for. Sometimes more joy than we imagined. It's all part of the package, and the package is good. We are not victims of life. We can learn to remove ourselves as victims of life by letting go of our belief that life has to be hard and difficult. We make our life much easier. Today, God helped me let go of my belief that life is so hard, so awful, or so difficult. Help me replace that belief with a healthier, more realistic view. And now let's go to grief in action. Trust in God and do something. It's important to let ourselves grieve as a passage between yesterday and tomorrow. But we do not have to be controlled unduly by our grief or our pain. There are times when we have grieved, surrendered to the heaviness, tiredness, and weariness of a circumstance long enough. It becomes time to break out. It comes time to action. We will know when it's time to break the routine of grieving. There will be signs within us and around us. We will become tired of the heaviness. An idea will occur, an opportunity will, pre will present itself. We may think, no, too much effort. Do it anyway. Try something, reach out, stretch, do something unusual, something different, something special. A new activity may help trigger the transformation process. Stay up two hours later than usual. Make an appointment to do something for yourself that is different from what you usually do. Visit someone you haven't seen in years. Do something to encourage and help the new energy coming your way. You may not feel like breaking out of grief. It may feel safer, easier to remain in our cocoon. Begin pushing out anyway. Test the walls of your cocoon. Push. Push a little harder. It may be time to emerge. Today, I will trust God and the process, but I will also take action to help myself feel better. I like that. Short and sweet. Acts of service. Yeah, starting a new routine, something that you haven't done before or something that maybe you've done before but haven't done in a while. For me, um, I started 
working out again. And so it feels good. It feels really um, freeing, you know, it actually does help quite a bit. And I also signed up to kind of volunteer um, to do some service work. There's this app that's called, um, what's it called? Oh, I'll have to get back to you guys on what it's called. I have this app that um, shows you all the different areas or, you know, communities of service and where you can help out. And, um, yeah, I, I look forward to using it a lot. So I signed up for one this week. So that will be fun. And um, I really want to try and dedicate my life to doing more of that stuff. As there's a lot of people hurting, you know, there's a lot of people that are hurting and like when you, when you start to get down on yourself, when you start to feel the hurt or the pain, my mom always tells me, just remind yourself, there's someone, there's a lot of people out there that are hurting a lot more than you are right now. You don't have it that bad. And it's not to disregard myself or anything or anybody it's just you're not disregarding your feelings but it's just um, a way to kind of show you be grateful for what you have and having gratitude and um by helping others that are going through a lot more than you really does help to heal you at the same time well, I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you soon. Peace out.